Jeff Zucker is stepping down from the head of CNN because of an undisclosed relationship uh, with a coworker. Uh, there's been so much media speculation about what happened, how the decision was made. Was this something that Jeff decided to do? Was this something that Jason Keillor decided? Was this your decision that, that he go? Well, look, Jeff resigned, and the decision to resign was Jeff's decision. And it's an unfortunate set of circumstances, and uh, nobody, as hard as the decisions that, you know, we just talked about with Joe are, these are the hardest decisions. They're always difficult any time you get involved in a personnel situation. And, and I know that Jeff had a tremendous following within CNN, and there's a lot of people who are incredibly loyal and supportive of him. That makes it hard for those individuals. Um, however, you know, when I step back and think about what Jeff's been able to accomplish over nine years, you can't take that away from him. Uh, he's been a very strong leader at CNN. But there's a lot of people at CNN who make that success possible. And uh, I think even Jeff himself talks about the fact that it's the team that makes a difference there. We've been working really hard at repositioning that asset, just like we have the entertainment assets, and we're about ready to launch CNN+. Plus. The team has been working really hard on this direct-to-consumer offer. It's about ready to come into market. They've got a great product in store. I think it's going to start to drive some innovation. I think the best days of CNN are still in front of it. I think David Zaslav has ideas around where he wants to take the asset and what he wants to do as a result of that. And, you know, there's was still... It, was, was, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but because you okay. read all this scuttlebutt, John, and it, and it, it almost reminds me of it. It's, it's, is it the cover-up or, or the crime? Because they're saying that consensual relationships with, between adults should be fine. But there was a time when he could have disclosed it. Um, and I guess that's what people are pointing to. The bylaws of the company made it mandatory that you can't stay once that happens. And then I'm wondering, you know, I, I see some of the comments John Malone has made about CNN, and I'm wondering whether there's behind the scenes even other things in play for whether he was out anyway, regardless of that, and this was a, a way to do it. I mean, just being really honest. Is yeah, it, Joe, I'm not going to speculate on you <laughs> doesn't know, how on I ask your the theory. Question. No, it's not going to matter. I, I, look, I've had, always had a practice of not commenting okay. on personnel situations, but and yeah, I, don't I don't intend to do that. I don't get it from Zaslav either. He's going to be David later. Oh, but I'll try, uh, I guess. But I bet <laughs> he's got a great answer already, regardless of how I, I asked the, we asked the question. But it's a touchy subject. It is. Hey, Andrew's got a question yeah. as well. Yeah. Hey, John. Um, we're running a banner here that says Jeff Zucker made the decision to resign based on what you just said. However, Jason Kylar was recorded having a conversation with the staff at CNN in Washington where it was clear that it was not Jeff Zucker's decision. And in fact, not only was it not his decision, when he was he was effectively pushed, not he, he apparently wanted to stay for another week or two or three and was told he couldn't. So can you just just try to square the, the reality of this, it's, he may technically have resigned insofar as he said, I'll resign rather than you technically fire me. But clearly he was pushed to do this. Can you just speak to that and also speak to the fact that Alison Gollist is still in her job and how you think about the distinction between those two? Uh, Andrew, again, uh, first of all, I wasn't involved in any of the discussions in Washington, D.C., so I can't speak to what was said or what the characterization of it is because I'm not familiar with it. Uh, Jason, you know, certainly has his point of view or I'm sure had a conversation. I'm not going to comment on the personnel issues. Allison, her circumstances are different, and uh, I don't want to get involved in discussing her situation either.